Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we are going to learn about units with numbers up to 1 million. Let's begin with our first example. Suppose we have this number. We've got 643,815. Now by this stage, you should be able to read that very clearly and say it aloud. Now the question is, and they'll be different, we're not going to go through this in order, is how many thousands are there in this number? How many thousands are there in this number? Which one is the thousands? It's the one to the left of the comma. We're just going to label this one for the time being. That is the thousands. Notice it's one, two, three, and it's the fourth one. Okay. So there are three thousands in this number. Suppose the question said, how many tens are there in this number? How many tens are there? Because you will get mixed questions like this. How many tens are there? Which one is the tens column? Or which one is the tens digits? Oops, I've just made a little mistake there. That should say just T. That is the tens. How many tens are there? There is one ten. Okay, the next one is, what if the question asked you, how many hundred thousands are there? How many hundred thousands are there in this number? Which digit is the hundred thousands? It's the one over here. And notice, it is carrying on this count. It is the sixth digit from the right. We always start on the right-hand side. How many hundred thousands are there? There are six in this number. Okay, we're going to carry on. Suppose the question asked, how many hundreds are there? How many hundreds are there in this number? Which digit represents the hundreds? It is the third from the right. Here we go. I've labeled it H. How many hundreds are there? There are eight hundreds. Eight hundreds. The next one is, how many units are there? How many units are there in this number? Well, we know that that's quite easy. The units are on the right hand side. There are five units in this number. And lastly, we've got the question which says, How many ten thousands are there? How many ten thousands are there in this number? Well, there's only one left. It's the fifth one from the right. It is T T H. Ten thousands. There are four ten thousands in this number. Now, as we said, you can get, you may get a number like this, and the simple question would be, how many hundreds are there? Okay, so you won't necessarily see all six. You may see a mixed bag. Right, we're just going to scroll down. And we're going to move on to our second example. Now in this one, we're going to write down all the different units, and then we're going to work out what number they represent. Okay. 
Right. Our number has got seven thousands. Okay, seven thousands. It has also got nine units. And eight hundred thousands. Eight hundred thousands. It's also got seven hundreds. Seven hundreds. And it also has two tens. And that's it. We don't have any more information. That's all we've been told. We have to now work out what number does this represent. Okay. Now the first thing I always do is write down the headings for all the digits. We start on the right hand side, we've got units. Next to it is tens. Next to that is hundreds. Next to that one is thousands. We can even put a little comma here. Next to that is ten thousands. And finally we have hundred thousands. Okay, so let's start from the top. We've got seven thousands. Seven goes over here. We've done seven, we'll give it a tick. Then we've got nine units. We'll give it a tick and we'll write down the nine over here. Then we've got eight hundred thousands. The eight hundred thousands go here. Next we've got is seven hundreds. Seven goes over here. And lastly we've got two tens. I'm just going to give that a tick. I forgot to give the seven hundreds a tick. So those are all the digits we can add from the information we have been given. And what that means is that in terms of ten thousands there must be zero. We haven't been told it but it must be zero. We can now put a comma over here. So what number did these units represent? Well the number is 807,729. It is 807,729. And that is how we work out the units for numbers up to one million and how we read the units.